Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Apex and today I'm going to be showing you all how to uh, create and install your own, your very own Diablo 3 uh, beta server emulator. Now this is just going to let you play without a beta key but there are a lot of bugs and a lot of glitches so don't expect to get like the full game or anything and uh, also you know this is <coughs> just educational and so um yeah, let's just uh, jump right into things. Uh, you guys can see how excited I am for the release of Diablo 3 on the 15th. I hope you are all as well. Alright, uh, you're going to need five things. The very first thing you're going to need is the Diablo 3 client. So, just type in on Google, Diablo 3 beta downloader. Oops. Bet. Bet. Uh, downloader. Derp, derp. <laughs> It'll derpy moment there. Should be the first link that comes up. Just go ahead and get the PC version. I'm not going to do it because uh, I already have it, but uh, as you can see this is, like it says in the post, a virus free and safe um, <clears throat> sorry, a virus free and safe version of the downloader because it is from the official uh, Blizzard servers. The next thing you're going to need is the um, is Microsoft C Sharp uh, Visual C, Visual C Sharp 2010 Express? So you can just go ahead and type in C Sharp Express. It's vague enough. Just go ahead and click that link, and it'll be on the right. And basically, it's the exact same install procedure as uh, before. Just save and uh, open it up. The next thing is WinRAR. Yeah, she C Sharp Express WinRAR. <laughs> As you can see, there is a 32-bit version up on the top, and then near the bottom there is a 60-bit version section. So I'll I'll have these links in the description, so you won't have to uh, look around for it like I am. All right, uh, after you've gotten all of those installed, you should get um, MuAge or Muig, I don't know how it's pronounced. These guys are foreign, I presume, but um this is the main server site or this is the main site for the uh server emulator. And as you can see over here there's a um donation section. So if you want to be one of seven contributors, I am one of seven contrib contributors. So it'd be awesome and donate to their cause for being so cool. Uh it'll click on the GitHub link that's right over here and it'll pop up this page and you can just click on the zip and that's gonna download and click save I'm not gonna do it because I already have it so go ahead and close that the next thing you're gonna need which is the la this is the last thing you have to download uh, type in bnet patcher and there will be a GitHub link for that as well just get the zip like before save it, I'm not going to do it again because I've already done it and then that is all you need to do with um, downloading alright the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get those two files and you're going to extract them into the same folder I'm not going to extract it because I've already done it but it should be pretty straightforward just use WinRAR and basically extract them into the same folder so it should uh, look somewhat like this without these, I don't know, I don't know what these are but basically you should have two folders. One should be MuAge and the other one should be the BNet Patcher. So go ahead and open up MuAge and go into source libmunet and right here is uh, the file that you're going to want to open with and you're going to open it with uh, your Visual C Sharp Express that you've downloaded already I presume. And then right up here at the top there's a little green play button it looks like a play button and it uh it's the it's the debug button. Normally it'll just compile, but I've already done it and it will give you that error at the end, so don't worry about that. Alright, go up a folder and can then go uh back into MuAge. And uh this time you're gonna be compiling don't don't compile mono. Only compile the VS two thousand ten. So go ahead and open that up with uh C sharp two thousand ten express. Compile that and then it's gonna run this uh, it's gonna give you an error when uh, when you run this it'll be some red text in the command prompt and then 
once uh, once that's done, uh, go back out, and then in actually no, don't go back out. Uh, stay in that in that folder. There will be uh, like there'll be like three other folders that weren't already there. One of them will be bin. So go ahead and open that. Debug assets mpq. And uh, in this folder, there will only be one file. It'll be this important file, which means which uh, says in it copy the mpq files which is about what I'm which is what I'm about to tell you so basically what you're going to want to do in this folder is you're just copying your mpq files which I'll show you where they are in a second then you're just copying them and putting them into this folder so go to your Diablo 3 directory where you installed it go into data oops, PC mpqs and then copy everything in this folder right into here. So you can see it's pretty much a mirror image except for this one file. Alright, once you've done that, you need to go back. Oh, sorry, I should not have closed that. Go back into your uh, install directory for Diablo 3. And then make a copy of this file, the Diablo3.x. Don't make a copy of the beta launcher only the Diablo3.x. Make a copy of it, rename it to something else. I renamed mine Diablo3 original. It doesn't matter as long as it's different. Then make a copy... Shoot, what did that just do? Oops. Okay. Then make a uh, shortcut of the Diablo3.x and put it in your desktop. Once you've done that, you can close that window. Uh, close that as well. So go to your desktop and find your shortcut. Mine is right here. Right click it, click properties, and at the end of it, add uh, add um, this. So basically it's going to look like this with just the uh, the target link and then put a, a space and then <coughs> sorry, and then add uh, this, which I'll have in the description, so you can just copy it. Just click apply, OK, and uh, you're almost done. Uh, the last thing that you have to do is you have to go back into your, um, shoot, where is it? Oh, there it is. Go back into your uh, <coughs> extraction folder where you have the uh, server source, and go back into source. Mueg, bin, debug, and in the debug folder, which is actually just two folders away from your MPQ folder, there is uh, the server executable, which I will run. You can go ahead and create a shortcut of that and put it on your desktop if you want. And then once you start that up, it'll just load. And then once it says it's listening, you can uh, go ahead and make your account, type in exclamation point into into the uh, command prompt that it has set up for you. Type in exclamation point account space add space whatever you want your account name to be. Um, it, it has to be an email so uh, you can make up the email and you can make it uh, um, dogs at cats.com make your password dogs cats make your battle tag battle tag and then uh, type in owner <coughs> and, you, and as you can see it will tell you that you created an account with the email being dogsandcats.com dogs at cats.com with the battle tag as battle tag and then you, uh, you can start up the game which I'm not going to do because I won't show it on the screen recorder but once you've started the game uh, you go into your uh, bnet patcher folder Oops. That, that that's what's gonna happen if you run the bnet patcher without starting your game it'll give you an error you go into your bnet patcher release and then you just run that and uh, you should be good to go alright and that is all that you need to do for that I hope you all have a great day and have some good fun playing Diablo 3 on this 
glitchy <laughs> little server here. So, yep, uh, this is Apex, and that was the point.